Okay, as y'all know, we are a new channel to YouTube, and we're trying to produce this stuff, to, you know, get a few subscribers along. So we thought it'd be fun to use this Harbor Freight sprayer today. And what we're going to do at the end of this thing, if we can get 10 comments and 10 likes from our subscribers, we're going to give this brand new HVLP low pressure spray gun away to somebody. We'll just mail it to you for free. And a good buddy of mine always told me, you can't be free. So, uh, so you know, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, put a comment down below, and then uh, we'll randomly select somebody to ship you this new paint gun. What is going on and welcome back to the channel. We're here today, it's a brand new day. We got our 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. We've worked on it. Uh, we put a bunch of sheet metal on it yesterday, got a bunch of new parts. The last video, we, uh, we ground out some of that sheet metal, drilled it all out, got it all off of there. And now we got the new hood on, the new fender on, new apron piece, the new radiator support. And we're just super excited and happy about how it all fits. So today, we're going to take it all back off and scuff it all up and trim it all out. So we're going to spray some paint and uh, kind of get this stuff black on the back side, get it ready to be welded on.
All right, so we got we got us a little bit of paint mixed up. We got a little bit of that over from last time. So we're gonna use both of it. We're gonna paint the inside of the hood. We're gonna paint our parts. We're gonna paint uh, our new hood hinge. We're gonna get all that done. Like I said before the video started, I've got the Harbor Freight paint gun right here. So uh, like I said, I've used this thing a lot. So what I'm gonna do is screw the regulator on. So we'll just screw him on right here. Easy, easy. And then this is a little filter cartridge I buy at Carpet Freight. Kind of takes care of a little bit of moisture and stuff in the line. And then we're going to change out our fit in here for a high volume one, which I match the booth. So that's all done. And then this little wrench comes with it. You can kind of tighten stuff up with it. It's pretty cool. And then here's the cup. Um, I'm going to do this without doing the uh, the disposables just to show you how it all works. So, uh, you know, we generally like to use the disposables. It's a little easier to clean up. Probably a little more, um, you know, takes a, takes a few minutes longer to clean up, but that's all right. We're going to clean this thing up. And so, uh, so there we got it. We're ready to spray. We got all our parts in the booth. We got it all wiped, wiped down, wax and grease remover. Everything went good. Everything looks good. It's all scuffed up. And then we set in and we used a tack cloth and we tacked it all down. So we got our paint mixed up in our Harbor Freight gun. It's ready to go. So I'm going to show y'all how this thing paints.
after that, we took all of this stuff off. We took the hood off. We took the fender off. We took our new radiator support off and our new apron over here. So we took them back there in the booth. We scuffed them up. We got the Harbor Freight gun. We painted with it. You know, you remember I said a few minutes ago that we're going to give this gun to somebody. So, uh, so be sure and comment. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to our channel. When we get 10, we'll randomly select somebody to get this Harbor Freight gun. And look at the underside of this hood. I mean, this is the kind of work that it did. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it looks really good, you know, for a cheap, cheap gun. I mean, this looks good. So, uh, we, we built up our front end here, doing some test fitting with our crash bar and our bumper support. I mean, everything is just coming together on this truck. So I couldn't be more proud of it. I mean, the, the gaps are, are looking really good. Um, everything is, everything's coming together on it. I mean, look at it. I mean, we are close, close, close to having this thing put back together. So it's looking really good. We've got a few more things we're waiting on to come in, but we've got most of the part for it. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll get some more work done and see how far we get. And just remember, like and subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel. So uh, until next time, we're out.